Hello, this video is to help you understand how to cast with kids using Prince August's Fairies and Fairy Door Family Craft Kit. Melt the metal pellets in the ladle on a hot stove or hot plate at full power for about 20 minutes until fully liquid. Allow your child to apply the magic dust to both sides of the open rubber mold. Then clap them together about three times to get rid of the excess dust. The, the magic dust is a release agent that lets the air escape when you're putting the metal into the mold. By giving them a few claps together you get rid of any buildup that might block the metal. Now assemble the mold by putting support boards on first and then attach the support elastic bands over them. You are supplied with four bands so Attach them neatly and evenly around the mould, making sure that you don't inhibit the flow of metal in the mould holes on top. Try to avoid having the bands twisted. The support boards help spread the pressure of the elastic bands and insulate the mould when the metal goes into it. Make sure that when you are applying the elastic bands that they are never perished because they could snap and also evenly spaced so that they give equal support from top to bottom of the mould. As you can see here, each is spaced about 20, 25% of the mould. Stir the metal with the, the stirrer stick for a few seconds and then push away any residue from the side of the ladle that you're going to be pouring from to make sure that it doesn't go into the mould. Then Guide the, the child to make sure that she's comfortable holding the, the stirrer in to test it for about 10 seconds to see if it is hot enough. The stick should begin to burn and show some smoke if it is at the right temperature. Allow the child to hold the ladle while you hold the child's hand. Keep her other hand away from the mould and you hold the mould at the edge to make sure it doesn't topple over. Then rest the ladle on the mould and gently but firmly pour the metal quickly into the mould until it fills up to the top. The metal will have some weight so take a little time to get a feel for the weight of the ladle before bringing it over. Always steady the mould because it could wobble and then again just quickly pour right up to the top and then immediately start tapping the mould with something solid. This helps shake the metal into the all little nooks and crannies and helps get rid of air pockets. It only needs to be hit about 5-10 to seconds at most because the metal will begin to cool and it will become semi-solid. Allow the metal to cool for 5-6 to six minutes. You can tap the top of the metal with a, with a stir stick or test it with your finger to see if it is cool enough to begin to open. Then unassemble the mould by removing the elastic bands first carefully so they can be reused and support boards. Leave the mould on the table and gently pull it, the two halves apart to expose the fairy inside. You can let this cool for another minute or so and then bend the mould and you can pop the figure out without damaging the mould. Now that you have the figure you can start priming it with a little tub of primer included and then paint the figure to your liking. Finally you can start Signing your name to the fairy contract, making sure that you've agreed to all its terms and conditions to keep the fairy happy and safe in your home. And now we're going on to the fairy door. After all, you need to have somewhere for the fairy to live. Paint the fairy door, it's a wooden door, as carefully as you want, and then apply the decorations which are self-adhesive stickers. And finally, when you've completed it to your liking, you can then sign the name of the fairy on the door so they know which door is theirs. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this casting guide. 